Throughout the Second World War, the aviation industry within Australia evolved. And Australia follows the lead of the homeland. For her defence, she now makes her own warplanes and in a year creates one of the greatest aircraft factories in the world at Fisherman's Bend, Melbourne. Here are the six years of war led to Australia producing ingenious designs such as the CAC Boomerang and CAC CA-11 Woomera. The pinnacle of these designs though would be the CA-15 Fighter. The Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation was formed in October 1936 to allow Australia to become self-reliant in aircraft and engine production in case of a war and supplies were cut off from Britain. Throughout the Second World War, the company would produce the CA Wirraway, the CAC Boomerang, as well as licensed building aircraft such as the P-51 Mustang. In 1942, CAC started a new endeavour to improve the CAC CA-12 Boomerang fighter. The Boomerang was a highly manoeuvrable aircraft, but lacked speed. CAC wanted increased performance by changing the 1200 horsepower Pratt & Whitney R1830 to the more powerful 1700 horsepower Wright R2600. However, the investigation that followed revealed that a basic boomerang airframe would not be able to cope with the extra weight unless heavy modification was made to it. The RAAF still wanted a high performance fighter and so CAC proceeded to start a completely new design. CAC appointed Fred David as chief designer and designated the new project CA-15. By 1943, the RAAF approved funding for a prototype. However, the proposed engine was unavailable and had to be changed to the Pratt & Whitney R2800. This resulted in a major redesign of the aircraft, with the supercharger deleted and a water-cooled intercooler was added. The project was further delayed when in 1943, CAC's general manager, Lawrence Wackett, decided to, that the company should develop P-51 Mustangs under license and so the CA-15 project was put on low priority. In September 1944, the project was cancelled by the Australian War Cabinet. Work was still commenced, but at a much slower rate, while CAC worked to get the program reinstated. In early 1945, the CA-15 project was approved to um, validate the considerable amount of aerodynamic testing already completed. Again, further delays were experienced when it became apparent the R2800 engine was no longer available. The engine thus again was changed, this time to an inline Rolls-Royce Griffin 61 engine with a two-speed supercharger. This engine would only be temporary as they awaited a Rolls-Royce Griffin with a three-speed supercharger. This, though, would never eventuate. The proposed armament for the CA-15 would include six .50 caliber heavy machine guns with the ability to carry five high-explosive rockets in each wing and two 100-pound bombs under the wings. In September 1945, the Pacific War finally came to an end when Japan surrendered. In the resulting military drawdown, there was no need for the CA-15 fighter. The project did continue at a much reduced pace with the new idea of replacing the Mustangs in RAAF service. Eventually in February of 1946, a prototype was unveiled, making it the second fighter to be of an entirely Australian design. Taxiing trials began on the 12th of February 1946. Finally on the 4th of March 1946, with test pilot Jim Schofield at the controls, the CA-15 took to the skies above Fisherman's Bend for the first time. Testing followed and on the 27th of June that year, with 16 hours and 35 minutes of total flight time, the prototype was handed over to the RAAF. Testing by number one aircraft performance unit showed that the plane could reach speeds nearing 450 miles per hour and pilots found it to be pleasant and uncomplicated to fly. Unfortunately, on December 10th, 1946, the prototype suffered a failure in the undercarriage hydraulics while trying to land at Point Cook. The undercarriage would not extend and pilot Flight Lieutenant J.A. Lee Archer was forced to make a gears up landing. The pilot was okay, however the plane suffered major damage and it wouldn't be until May 1948 that the prototype would be delivered back to the RAAF. In one flight following the repairs, the aircraft reached 500 miles per hour in a dive. With the arrival of the jet age and piston engine planes becoming obsolete, the CA-15 was no longer needed and much of the flight time was collecting data. In 1950, the prototype was discarded and then scrapped with the engine returned to Rolls-Royce. The CA-15 was an example of the pinnacle of piston engine aircraft. It was believed that the CA-15 was superior than the P-51 Mustang as well as early jet aircraft. However, it would be the potential of jet aircraft that would bring this project to a close. 
Nonetheless, the CA-15, unofficially the Kangaroo, was an impressive aircraft with much combat potential. Only one prototype was ever built.